everybody. Uh, I decided to make a video today. Um, I wasn't planning on it, but today's actually my birthday. And uh, while I wasn't intending to make a birthday video specifically, I got a bunch of really great stuff for my birthday, so I wanted to make a birthday haul video. So here we go. Um, first and foremost, um, this morning I got a message from a fellow VC member, my friend Bert, and he said, hey, check your mailbox because I sent you a birthday present. And he sent me something really, really cool. It was a box filled with all of these CDRs, including a non-CDR. And these are all um, CDs of different mixes of the Let It Be album and the Get Back sessions. So first thing he sent me, which is really cool, this is a Japanese, um, I think this is a bootleg, but I could be wrong. But it's a CD, and it comes in this, got the shrink wrap on here. And it says, Mastered from Original Vinyl. And there's the back. Oh, and there's Bobby making his appearance. Um, but yeah, I listened to this this morning while I was taking a shower. I had it on my CD player. And it sounded really, really good. In fact, there's a bit on here where it omits a bit of John saying, Queen says no to pot-smoking FBI agents. Like, apparently that just got deleted on this for some reason. So that's kind of interesting. And then he also sent me, if I don't drop them all, this is um, a complete rooftop concert. I can get there without the glare. And this is like a little bit of a, it's in mono, I see, done by Dr. Ebbets. This is also rooftop concert in stereo, which looks very cool. Then this is, um, the Get Back album as presented by Glenn Johns. This is version number one. I have version number two in my car right now that Bert sent me today. This is uh, Posters, Incense, and Strobe Candles. This is the leg legendary Get Back radio broadcast. And then this is a mono transfer of the vinyl from Brazil. This is Let It Be, a mono transfer, which is like a full down mix. This is a stereo transfer from the Mobile Fidelity record. And then, this is last but not least, but a transfer of the UK, an original UK Apple. So I'm really going to look forward to listening to all of these and uh, get my Let It Be fix in. So, Bert, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. You're the main reason I'm making this video. I really wanted to thank you. So, really, really cool. Thank you so much. And then, I woke this morning and my girlfriend had decked out the whole house and birthday stuff. And she got me something really, really cool. She got me this biography on Brian Wilson called I Am Brian Wilson. And I've read about the first two chapters and it's fantastic. Um, she saw me looking at this while, while we were Christmas shopping, so she knew I really wanted it. So I was really happy to get that, and uh, it's such a great gift. So, Brian Wilson. Then I went out and uh, did a little record store shopping today. I took the day off from work, so I just had a lot of time to do uh, the stuff that I would want to do on my birthday. So I went record store shopping, which is, of course probably what a lot of you would want to do, as well as what I would want to do on a day I have off. So I went to uh, two different places, actually three different record stores out here. First one I went to, I picked up uh, the new Neil Young album. I guess it's not totally new, it's a couple months old at this point, but I picked up Neil Young's Hitchhiker. And uh, this is such a great record. I already had the CD, um, but I really wanted to pick up the vinyl. And uh, it's got a great gatefold. It actually comes with a poster. It's just the lyrics to the album. I won't take the poster out. Um, but the sound quality of this is fantastic. It's just Neil and his Hoose guitar. There's the label there. And it really is fantastic. A really nice presentation of a record. Um, slip that back in there. By the way, I get a lot of comments, not a lot, but quite a few comments of uh, certain nitpickers who like to talk about how I hold the records and put them in the records and all that stuff. Just so you know, just to ease your mind, 
I do my absolute best not to touch the actual grooves of the record. So rest, rest your mind. Everything's it's all good. Uh, not that it matters because they do belong to me, and if I want to put my hands all over them, I could. But I don't. Just want you to know. Okay. So that was Neil Young in his Hitchhiker album. Then, uh, at the same record store, I picked this up. It was on sale. This is a band I really like called Death From Above, 1979. They're a really interesting band. It's just two guys in the band. It's a drummer and a bass player. And the drummer sings, and the bass player plays his bass like an electric guitar with like tons of distortion on it. Um, they're a really heavy but fantastic band. And this is a live recording they made at Third Man Records in Nashville, Tennessee, which Third Man, of course, is owned by uh, Jack White of the White Stripes and a bunch of other bands. I haven't heard this yet, but I got it for a really good price, so I figured I'd pick it up. So that's Death From Above, 1979. Then at another record store here in town, I picked this up. I've seen this around for a long, long time, and I never, for some reason, I just didn't end up buying it. But this is an EP from Paul. This is Paul's secret show at Amoeba, and it's called Amoeba Secret. And it's got four songs. It's got Only Mama Knows and That Was Me from his Memory Almost Full album. And then it has I Saw Her Standing There and Sea Moon. And uh, the back's got like a crossword puzzle. It's presented like a bootleg. It's not a bootleg. It's an official release. It's on the Hear, the Hear Music label that Paul was on for a while. I don't think he's on it anymore. Uh, anyway, it's just a real simple record. It has no official label. This is just blank right here. And then there's a little sticker that's been put on that just says, hear music, MPL, all tracks published by MPL, all the, you know, whatever you call that, the legal, legal stuff. But it's got, a, it's got a really cool vibe about it. The sound quality, I would say, is, um, it's not up to the standards of normal Paul McCartney live stuff, but it's excellent at the same time. Um, it's like, it's like a, it's like a little bit below the one hand one hand clapping recordings. I don't know if that if you guys know what that is, but those sound great too. But this is about on par with with that, a little bit below. But this is really cool. So this is Paul live from Amoeba. And then last but not least, I completed my George Harrison collection by picking up this George Harrison album, Wonderwall Music. And this happens to be a German. Uh, pressing, and I now have all of George's official albums um, on vinyl. Actually, I realized as I said that I don't have live in Japan, so I shouldn't say I've completed my collection. But all of his albums, besides live records, I have all the official studio albums. So I was really happy to pick this up, and I haven't listened to it yet, but I've heard the soundtrack before and. I do love it. The cool thing about this is it comes with the original little uh, insert here. Got the apple. So, and I'll show you the actual record if I can coax it out of here. Oh, yeah. Easy. There it is. Again, this is a German pressing, so I imagine it sounds pretty good because most German pressings do. So anyway, that is my uh, my birthday haul, and I'm actually going out to dinner in about when my girlfriend gets off work in about an hour with a bunch of friends and her, and uh, maybe I'll get some more music-related stuff. And if I do and it's worthy, I'll show it to all of you in a video. So. That's it for now. Also, in case some of you are wondering or cared, there is the butcher cover uh, right there, hanging up on the wall. In a, uh, I'm not sure if that's exactly how I'm going to keep it, um, but I had a frame available, and uh, looks good there. It's it's safe. So I might end up getting. I did see like a frame thing where you can put two records in one frame, two record sleeves. So I might do that with the original, with, with that butcher cover, along with a uh, reproduction of the actual butcher photograph. That would be kind of cool. Anyway, that's all for me for now. So uh, we'll see you next time. And uh, hey, let's zoom in on Brian Wilson.
today. All right. See you all soon. Have a happy new year. And there's Brian. I'm a cook on the ocean.